Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Disabled Reality. I'm your host, Anthony Lorita Duke, and we have two topics for today's show, and which the first one is people who act like life is just all about them. And the second topic is stop acting like everyone has to be politically correct all of the time. Now let's get right into the first one. People who act like life is just all about them. You know, all the me, 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 me all the time. And um, I'll give you a perfect example, okay? There was a Fox News reporter who I believe was um, asking the White House press secretary, I believe she was, and... Um, I, I mean, I can't believe this Fox News reporter, but anyways, let me go on exp uh, explaining what this uh, Fox News reporter uh, said. He said, how come the president, meaning uh, Biden, <clears throat> doesn't take my questions first and answer all of my questions? Really? Really? Yes, the president gets a list of reporters and stuff like that, but <clears throat> first of all, President Biden did answer his questions, all of them, okay? And no, he did not pick this reporter first. Boo hoo hoo! He didn't pick you first! Boo hoo hoo! Get your fucking brain out of your ass, you stupid piece of crap. Okay? And by the way, the reporter specifically admitted that President Biden uh, answered all of his questions. He just didn't like the, uh, the reporter, didn't like the fact that he got picked later on. Okay? So it was all about the me, 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 me. Really? Honestly? Is that professional? So the White House press secretary put this piece of trash of a Fox News reporter in his place. And she said, but didn't the president actually uh, pick you? And he didn't he answer all of your questions? And the reporter said, yeah, but he didn't pick me until later on. You fucking dumbass. You dumbass. Who cares about uh, who he picked first and second one? He, he picked everybody that was on the list. He spoke to all of them. He answered all everybody's questions. Get the fucking brain out of your ass. Stop being a worth. Stop being a worthless piece of shit all of your life. Honestly. Honestly. Now. Um. It's just people like that that piss me the hell off. The me, 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 me all the time. Stop it. Stop it. Honestly. Uh, it's not professional. It's not even mature. You're not acting like an adult. I mean, it's not, it's not even intelligent. Is that what you got to say? I mean, come on. Give me one minute, ladies and gentlemen. I just have to close my windows really quick. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. And um, so now, let's get right into the second topic. Stop acting like everyone has to be politically correct all of the time. 
seriously. We're all human, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody's a goddamn machine. All right? And stop thinking that you're perfect. Because guess what? You're not. And so if somebody's going to constantly co uh, correct your grammar, you know, um, or are you going to people uh, make a typographical error when they're, if they're, you know, when they're typing things out? Honestly, come on. We're all human. We're not machines. And trust me when I say this. If you're the type of person that goes around correcting everybody all of the time with their grammar and being politically correct all the time, let me explain something to you. Okay? And I want you to listen clearly. Karma's going to come back and kick you in your ass. Okay? And when it comes back and kicks you in your ass, trust me, you're not going to like it. And when I say it's going to come back and kick you in your ass, it's going to be done back to you. And it's going to happen at a time when you're not going to want it to happen. Okay? And you're going to feel like a piece of crap when they're done uh, verbally attacking you and constantly correcting you all the time. You're going to feel like a piece of crap. And you know what I say? Good. You deserve it. Because you went around doing that to people. Right? So now it's done back to you. How do you like it? Guess what? You won't like it. You won't like it. And you're going to feel embarrassed when it happens back at you. And if you're the type that goes around saying, oh, no, I'm perfect. I, I never make a mistake. Oh, no, I, I don't do things like that. Ah, trust me. You're absolutely wrong. And when it does happen, watch out. You're not going to like it. Because maybe it'll be your boss that constantly does that to you. Or maybe your parents or your grandparents or whomever. It's going to be somebody above you. And you're going to feel lower than a snake's belly. So watch out. Now I can understand that if a person does it once in a blue moon, maybe you're trying to help somebody. So this doesn't really apply to you, okay? Like, like the old saying goes, if it don't apply, then let it fly. But what this doesn't, but who this applies to is anybody that's always correcting people all the time about every teeny tiny little thing. Watch out. Because when it happens back at you, you got nobody else to blame but yourself. Watch your back. Because it will happen to you. It's only a matter of time. And like I said, you're not going to like it when it happens to you. Now, <clears throat> so this is just really about growing up and maturing, right? Acting like an adult. But when you have assholes who, you know, think that life is all just about them, and that the spotlight has to be on them, that they have to be chosen first in everything, that everybody's got to answer all their questions all the time, you know, not move on to other reporters and answering their questions too, right? 
and for all the people out there that go around uh, acting like everybody has to be politically correct all the time. Right? You have to speak like this. Is it only how, how you can say that? And, uh, and, and you can't make any typographical errors. We all have to be. We all have to be machines all of the time, twenty four hours, seven days a week. Seriously, but if you do that back to them, holy crap, do they get mad? Wow! And then they conveniently forget when they do it, and they go around saying, "Yeah, but when I do it." Uh, I'm always right, and it's only okay for me to do it, but it's not okay for anybody else to do it. Really? Yeah, you tell that to your boss if your boss uh, corrects you on things. Tell that to your boss. See what happens. Wow. You're not going to like it. Guaranteed. But anyways... Uh, I want to remind all my fans out there um, about my uh, my website, Advocate Information Highway. The link to there is AIHNY.com. Okay, because the link to there changed. But the website itself, the setup and stuff still stay the same, except for the fact that the last page, which was the shop page, that's completely gone, which brings me to my next point that um, to purchase all the stuff that my husband and I make, we've actually made a specific website for AWLDNY, and <clears throat> the link to there is AWLDNY.com. So you guys can purchase all the candles. Jewelry, uh, all the cosmetic stuff, all on that site. So I wanted to let everybody know that. And after I'm done hosting this episode of this show, I will host another episode of my show, Advocate Information Highway on YouTube. And so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.